Oh shit, ain't laid him down, he was 22 We can't even talk about him, we ain't been in they shoes Niggas can't see, bitch, they're trying to hold up Our shit, they never succeed Just a maker working hard, let those niggas won't believe it They ask me all in God, baby, but we all are ungrateful Why my people so grateful? My soul has a black for the good along Seems like we get more and jumping out of living wrong How we gonna act when we old and like kids are wrong Once we get it going, our trumpets are still living on Seems like I'm more concerned about what we stepping on What we smoking on, what the hell is going on Music change what I'm like a I ain't not saying be immortal, but if you can't save me I'm still working and mixing on that song, man. What's the deal, man? We back. What y'all know about them bars, man? I said, how I'm front on the disco beat. I got a bag, plus I got to keep low heat. All the moves that I make, it got to stay discreet. Like a fat bitch, you don't want nobody to see. Yo, that's a real line, but I was really seeing a fat bitch. When I wrote that song, I was really seeing a fat bitch. I ain't want nobody to see, you know what I'm saying? But now I don't care. If you see me out with an ugly chick, I don't care, cuz. Bro, right, right now, you probably alone. You know what I'm saying? I remember one time, I was at a club, man. I know we had some content, but this is how the story goes. So it's just podcasting. Let me vibe, right? Shout out to the chat. We're going to holler at y'all in a second. So went to the club. We had two partners. This, you know, guys in the military, we see people hanging out with different ethnicities. So uh, me, I want two blacks, two Mexicans. As soon as I get to the club, I bag a fat white chick. And my niggas look at me like, Dwayne, what you doing? They call me McClain. Like, McClain, what you doing? I'm like, where I'm from, this is what we do where I'm from. For St. Paul's, we don't have standards. We holla at, we holla at anything in St. Paul's. We, we ain't got no good looking women out there. So my homie's like, Dwayne, what you doing? You holla at. I'm like, y'all niggas about to go home to Vaseline and lotion. You about to go home and get me some ass. So you can't talk no shit about what I'm out with if you alone. Like, I be seeing niggas who go home to Jurgens. They go home to Lubriderm, Vaseline, coconut oil, baby gel, uh, that dry skin, the pillar. You going home alone right now. I'm about to go home. Let her be, she might be hideous. I'll never be out nothing hideous now. They're going to be decent, but you know what I'm saying? I was really out with a fat chick around the time. I didn't want nobody to see when I wrote that line. You know what I'm saying? What was the next line? Like a fat chick, you don't want nobody to see. I move along, and I ain't got nobody with me. And tell my girl not to worry, baby. We gonna eat. Even if I have to work nights with no sleep, I burn bridges and promise things that I can't keep. I was really burning a lot of bridges around that time, man. Burn a lot of bridges around that time and fucking a lot of people over, man. And uh, I was really working hard. I told my girl, really told her I really wanted to work all day. You know what I'm saying? And I was working like I'm always working, man. I'm always a tired ass nigga, man. So I'll be working. Uh, what's the line I want to get to though? My burn bridges and promise things that I can't keep. I'm up late. Worry about what I'm gonna reap. All the things that I sold, doors are closed. Fair light, everything is out of my control. We down for some land that we don't even own. First thing they tell you, nigga, get it on your own, nigga. Get it how you live, niggas died every day. Yeah, this is where we live, and we don't want to leave. Real lines, nigga, real lines. But yeah, let's get to the chat, man. Shout out to my boy seven seven John in the building. Speaking of, let me tell you about this crazy customer I had, right? So, I be fucking with the numbers shit. I knew this customer right here was going to be a good sale for me. I work in sales. Her address was 444. The next slide over, we go through making the account. Boom, 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 boom. Doom, doom, doom. We're making the account. It pulled up 33333. 
Then she tells me her credit score was 666. I'm like, oh, yeah, everything lining up. I'm about to get a sale. Got a good sale off the customer. Everything came through like it worked out. But stuff like that happens to me all the time, man. I really don't have nothing to share about it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy EJ Valley in the building. Slimy Rail, you dirty bastard. Jasiri in the building. A name like Slimy Rail just sound like a dirty ass nigga. Slimy ass dude, you dirty bastard. That was Slimy Rail, bro. That was Slimy Rail, bitch. Imagine what Slimy Rail bitch look like, bro. Man, <laughs> Slimy Rail, this your name, bro. This is the thoughts that come to my mind when I hear a nigga named Slimy Rail. I'll be like, man, so what's the deal? What's your name? Oh, my name's Slimy Rail, fam. Oh, you're just a dirty motherfucker. You probably fucking all the nasty bitches. I think me and Slimy Rail, we about to be some real niggas. We about to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't stand I go out with niggas and man, they be not want to holler at the bitches. And then, this is how you got to do it when you go out, fellas. You're going to get, you're going to holler at some bad bitches first. You're going to end up here at the bottom tier. This is where you're having all the fun at. This is where all the fun's at. You got the old bitches, the fat bitches, the bitches with no kids, the drunk bitches. All the fun's here. Them bad bitches ain't no fun. They ain't anybody had no fun unless you got a lot of money. We ain't got that much money. So I can't say I go out niggas. They want to, once you get turned down, about, once you get turned down by the bad bitches, they think the night's over. I'm going to go home. Well, it's time to holler at the ugly hoes, man. Y'all niggas is bumming. Slimy real so I can nigga you can holler at the ugly hoes with. Sounds like my boy Kyle Calloway. The home, let his homie come with joke, truth and jokes. And the boys looking bright. Would would have caught it live if my flight was delayed from Florida to Baltimore. Oh, you traveling? Girls are always on the road, man. Y'all, y'all always traveling. Every time I talk, y'all every, y'all every time I talk to a girl, they are traveling. Fellas, we gotta step our game up, including myself. You know what fuck niggas up? We spend our money on dumb shit. <laughs> we spend money on dumb shit. Every time I talk to a girl, they be traveling, going out of town every time. Every time, but y'all live your life. Live your life. What do girls do when y'all go out? Like when niggas go out, we go out and get bitches. What do y'all do? Y'all just go out and have fun. Like y'all understand, as a man, don't get it twisted. I'm old now, so I go out and getting bitches ain't what I usually. I like to be an old person now. You know what I'm saying? Like I went to the bar the other night, sat at the bar, drank my drinks, watched the game. I watched the three point contest. This was like a couple of nights ago. There's a nigga named Kamusima won. Some Chinese nigga. I ain't hollering no bitches. You know what I'm saying? But what the fuck do y'all do as a girl's trip? Y'all just go out and just take pictures and shit? Like, niggas, we go out. We gonna holler at some hoes. We gonna shoot. We, gonna, we probably gonna play the game. We gonna get fresh. But at least what I know, we, I'm gonna be honest. When I go out my niggas, I know getting bitches is what's on our minds. <laughs> I'm, just being, I'm just being real. I'm just being real. What the fuck do girls do when y'all go on a girl's trip? Y'all just take pictures and yell, what? And getting turned niggas down, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see no point in it. Like, I be seeing girls like, I'm about to go out of town. I guess, I don't know. As I'm getting older, I'm looking at enjoying life. Like, jet skiing, you know, jet skiing is fun. You know what I'm saying? Jet skiing is fun. Ryan Campbell's and shit fun and shit. But I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. All my intentions pretty much lead with, end with. Not end with that, but it's going to lead to that, if you get what I'm saying. Dwayne, you seen Constantine got exposed by OnlyFans thought, like you said, Kai Ada Ross Lane as hell. They can't pull no bitch about that brand. These kids. Okay. I want to do an independent blog on these niggas, but I keep forgetting. And y'all know how I do. We might have a we might have a video titled The Sky is Blue. And I don't want to talk about the sky one time. We might not talk about Justin Bieber tonight, Drake this or Rick Ross. We might not get to none of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we do over here. You know what I'm saying? Leave leave your comment. Leave your comment. It's cool. I've been wanting to talk about this. Because the fresh and fit nigga just got caught up with a bitch. He got her pregnant. You niggas get this money and go fuck these bitches that never, that do not want you. Kostanet could go fuck on. Like, here's the thing. Real niggas don't want that type of shit. I'm telling you, man. Y'all go to, you go out to a bar, club. Any real situation, real niggas, we hollering at girls with guts. We talking to girls with kids. We talking to girls with four. We, we, you barely ever see any of us. I'm talking about real niggas, real trap niggas, real street niggas, real niggas. You got to pay to see real niggas. I'm talking about niggas. Dirty dreads, your slimy rails. I'm talking dirty ass Montrells. Real niggas, Terrells, all of them. You know what I'm saying? We with real bitches. You don't see, we don't even... We would never even holler at that shit. That's how I know this. Only in like maybe in bigger cities, but even I think niggas in the bigger cities won't even. They probably holler like like a 
I hope y'all niggas ain't hollering at these BBL chicks. But anyways, what I'm getting at is these niggas so lame, as soon as they get money, they holler at these fake synthetic chicks because this is what validates them. This is what thinks this is what this is what they think success is. And all these niggas, red pill channel niggas will talk about not paying for shit and they end up buying pussy. I don't get it. But um, of course, Costanet got caught out with a daggone um, I'm about to eat that bitch. Of course, Costanet got caught up for daggone um uh for for uh Buying pussy, man. That's what all y'all. Th these girls are preying on these niggas, man. All every girl on Instagram right now shaking her ass, fellas. You're wasting your time hitting her DM. Unless you got money, they're looking for girls online shaking their ass for bread. They're not doing that shit just for the fun of. They're trying to get a little bit of extra bread, but they're looking to the girls to really. They're looking to bag a rich a, a rich dummy. These dudes are lames, and these girls know the game. They gonna get there. These niggas never got no experience. Like they couldn't impress me because I done had everything. I had everything done. I did everything. They couldn't impress me, and then I'm not attracted to that. I'm not. A, they couldn't do nothing with Wayne. Like when I got rich, whew, there's a few. There's a few Instagram thoughts that probably will break my bank. Not think about it. But they look like real bitches, though. You know what I'm saying? They look like real bitches. You know what I mean? And I'll let it be known I got fucked up. But I don't know what happened to Costanet. I just know, but yeah, them niggas is corny, bro. The crazy universe talking to you crazy. You on the right path, keep going. Hit the like button. The hoes, these hoes getting flew out. They just never post they nigga they going with. <laughs> You're a loser, Dwayne. You can't balance or play basketball. You couldn't even fight growing up. Bitch, I could throw them hands. You crazy. Hell, I love fighting. I quit fighting when we got, when them hits started, we all turned to men and them hits started hurting and I started getting black eyes and shit. You know you're a little boy. You ain't getting lumped up. So you fighting all the time. I love to fight. Whoa, TV, come in here hating. Whoa, TV, shut your bitch ass up. Yeah, see, he started with me. This nigga, this nigga got to ask his mama for for, for uh, body wash. Mom, I'm running out of body wash. Can I get some body wash? Nigga, don't even brush his teeth in the morning, nigga. You do your homework, nigga. You, you in school, bro. You in school. These females, be wanting to, to tag you along when they tell you they traveling. All right. I'll come with them. How good is Lil Uzi Vert? On a rap scale, Lil Uzi Vert, a three. Lil Uzi Vert ass. <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert, another nigga that's a lame, bro. I'm telling y'all, man, in these little small country towns, south towns, y'all niggas will only be able to survive in big cities where stupid whack shit is accepted. Where I'm from, dumb whack shit is not accepted. Y'all can't come out here and be weirdos. You can't. In the South, I'm talking about the real South. Not fucking Atlanta. Not my, not them places that's not the South. You niggas from Atlanta, y'all motherfuckers are fucking the game up. Y'all be fucking fake body bitches. Y'all niggas go out and blow all this bread on bitches. You niggas are fucking the game up. You Atlanta niggas, you Miami niggas. Then y'all niggas fuck fake bitches. You niggas are fucking the game up. You Atlanta niggas make me sick, man. But... Down here in the South, the country South, where there's small towns, where there's still racist white people, but we all get along. Like, it, I'll be in line, racist white man in front of me. He look racist. We'll be best friends. He might call me nigger. I might call him cracker, but it's love. You know what I'm saying? There's Mexicans out here. These Mexicans can't speak no Spanish. They all ride Hondas. They all, they, none of them got no clothes. You can't be weird out here. We don't accept no weird shit. And you can't get no bitches out here being weird. Y'all see them niggas with the crazy clothes? You walk into one of these clubs out here, Steve, you get some hoes. You're not pulling shit. I done seen, yeah, I done seen these rich niggas try that shit out here. These rich niggas come out here dressed all crazy, chains, juried up, and get turned the fuck down by a country bitch. We not accepting that weird shit. Lil Uzi Vert can only do that shit in the cities. He can't do that shit out nowhere else, man. He's another one of the weird ass niggas, man. Y'all, I'm being for real. You don't see none of these niggas out getting any pussy. None of them. None of them. Real niggas do real things. Jalen Green and Drea. Shouts out. Monte. Hey, change that profile picture, bro. Melvin Brown. A3 Louver can rap decently. I'm from South Carolina. I didn't mean to put that user in timeout. My bad, bro. I, I put my timeout. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't mean that. They smash transmissions too. Yeah, man. Them niggas in Atlanta be smashing transmissions. What is going on in the game, bro? I really don't understand what's going on in the game, man. Like DJ Academics, he out here. Why do these dudes even go for these type of females? Y'all, I would never go for none of them girls. Never. They're nothing but problems on them. They're nothing but problems. 
If you even got to drop that type of bread, like, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I, I don't know. The, the game crazy. But anyways, uh, tell my boy DS in the building. What y'all think about the old Drake diss, man? This fake ass beef. Y'all, these niggas just rapping and rip to boost their careers up. Nobody was talking about Rick Ross fat ass. Both. Atlanta's like Christmas every day for yag niggas. Y'all, let me tell you the first time I seen some Atlanta niggas. Hurricane Matthew was down here in this, in, in, uh, in this area, right? 2016. We at work all day in a level five hurricane. I'm loading the truck with a box, grabbing a box, loading the truck up, a trailer. Pouring rain. The wind about to blow the truck over. We like, let's go home. They finally let us home at like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Like, y'all can go home. All right, cool. Y'all, my house is 15 minutes away. One direction, straight shot. Everything's flooded. I got to... I'm trying to get my baby mama. My daughter is trapped in her, gra her grandparents' house, so she's straight. My son was living in another state at the time. So I'm trying to get my baby mama. This is the woman I love at the time. I'm riding all through the fucking, I'm riding all the way around. I stop at this pit stop. It's a gas station. It's flooded out. I, I stopped because I was trying to, I had to turn around. And I seen these three weird dressing niggas. Niggas had a choker. A nigga had a big ass, like see this little animal right here? Imagine that on a hat. You got these big doofy shoes, button-up shirts wide open, gold in mouth, and jewelry. Look in the Christ of 300. Three, three stupid looking niggas. And guess what they said? I'm from Atlanta. That's how I'm, that's how they all Atlanta niggas. I'm from Atlanta. That's how Atlanta niggas talk. I said, he said, hey bro, you know you can you help us out. I said, shit, nigga, I got I gotta get my girl. I, I got to go. Uh, you know who be tall man? I said, nigga, where the fuck y'all? Y'all, it's the middle of a hurricane. I see how weird these niggas dress. I said, where the fuck y'all niggas from? From Atlanta. Nigga, what the fuck y'all niggas got? I'm like, what the fuck you niggas got on? Where the fuck y'all coming from? Niggas had these doofy ass spike shoes, big ass pants. That was 2016. Uh, nigga had a hat with like a fucking, fucking doll baby on the shit. Y'all niggas think that shit fly? That shit ain't fly. Y'all just, just in the city and in the city you can do weird shit. That shit ain't fly out here in the south. Y'all good. That's some real dope boys look stupid. I remember I was, my first time around real dope boys. I was talking too much. They're like, nigga, you need to hey, take your man shit the fuck up. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I, need, I guess I can't tell my jokes here. <laughs> Let me hit the fuck out. I don't know what y'all mind trying to hear Kendrick yelling and shit. And on his response, he overrated for real. Y'all, this shit is fake, man. Drake smoked them niggas though. Metro <laughs> shut your lame ass up. Why he going metro like that for? I'm like, damn, he got metro out of here. And it's crazy, all them niggas was friends, man. But um, why niggas now just not calling Drake a white boy? I heard Rick Ross shit. Drake is is a Jew, y'all. Y'all know Drake is a full blooded Jew. Jew like his daddy like his daddy part Jewish and his mama Jewish. Drake full he's Jewish on both sides. Drake is a whole damn Jew. This shit. We he we let Drake say nigga for years. Why y'all just now calling that nigga a white boy? Ross, that shit ain't gonna land. That shit ain't gonna land. I do see Drake wearing some weird ass clothes. He do like he gained a lot of weight. You know what I'm saying? But um, the clone tripping. I don't believe that's the real Drake. I believe that's a, a clone, man. The nigga eyes like hazel. And the nigga don't even look like an Akbar no more. Niggas look Arabic. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I got, I got, the, I think the, the beef is fake because everybody popping right now. Think about it. Everybody. Drake, the number one artist in the world. Let's have this, this, this. It could be perfectly orchestrated. If I was a record label artist, I'd be like, how can we get everything popping? Let's get Kung Fu Kenny in. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar ain't going to do shit. Bitch ass nigga. Get, Kendrick Lamar get picked up like this and, and slam. I ain't know he was that little. Kendrick Lamar looked taller. I'm not a fan of Kendrick Lamar. I got a few songs I like by him. And those few songs, I'm telling y'all, man, Kendrick Lamar is at a restaurant. That's only open for two items, the wings and the motherfucking fries. Them, everything else on the menu is trash. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar got a few thing, songs I like, but I'm not a fan of them, so I never watch his videos. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers are big-time Satanists. All these niggas are Satanists. Drake's a Satanist. Kendrick Lamar is Satanist. J. Cole is Satanist. Everybody's a goddamn Satanist. All them niggas is a Satanist, man. Hey, let's see one of them. What's good, Dwayne? Kendrick Loki overrated. Kendrick was moaning on that diss. They real deal. It just came out of nowhere with this beat. Oh shit, we talking about the beef and all. Uh, Drake so pussy has so so called leak the song, then tweak it. 
I don't I, I I don't know the two different versions. Drake one told to Kendra drop. Bro, Wild feel like shit's created. Like it's Drake's Draconian. and he got all these little nicks coming out night. So they can he prove he really proved himself. Y'all, it's the same shit. Drake got Meek Mill did it for Drake. Here's the nasty shit from back to back. Meek Mill took a hit for Drake. That's why Meek Mill's still here. Meek Mill, he lit. Come on, man. Meek Mill, you a, a battle rapper from Philly. Y'all, go look at Meek Mill original pictures. You can tell that nigga used to stink. You can tell he was that kid in the classroom who do this right here. You know them kids who do that? I can't stand them people who do that in the middle of nowhere. I can't. I, I'm grossing myself out. Meek Mill like that kid in the morning doing that shit, staking ass breath, who always laugh and the spit be everywhere. Go look at Meek Mill older pictures. And he was a bad rapper in the streets of Philly. That's where you came from. You was that dirty smelling kid who if I would if I was went to school with Meek Mill, I wouldn't even try him. I would I would tell my jokes to everybody and skip over him. I'm like, I ain't even trying to fight that ugly ass nigga. I done fought ugly niggas before. And niggas who come to school with the dirty braids like that. I don't want to smoke with. Just leave. Yo, buddy play, buddy been wearing that same dirty ass tank top for the past five weeks. We all went to the gym and seen that stain on the back of that tank top. He just been sweeping the inside out every day. And he we know he ain't took no shower. We don't want no problems with that. Meek Mill, you was that guy. And you let Drake punk you. You done got punked by the Cosmic Nine. He uh, you be thinking these niggas really be real niggas, they really be bitches, man. It just be an image, man. You know what I'm saying? So I think Meek Mill took a hit for Drake. Now, look, they did songs together. I want to do a song with them. Drake is no more artist. Look, Kung Fu Kenny dissed Drake. J. Cole dissed him. J. Cole got out because he seen what was coming next. Everybody was about to start beefing, and he heard the whole entire plan. Because when they first gave J. Cole the plan, J. Cole got the plan. He got his little mix into it. He charted. it. He made a little bit of bread. He said, let me get out. I don't want to be part of it because Drake about to diss. And then now Kendrick people are going to be sending the shots. And now Drake about to diss everybody. J. Cole is friends with Drake. J. Cole don't want to diss everybody. So he got out. He said, I don't win part of this. I make sure light skin. They like, look, Drake, J. Cole is only going to last like a year or two, like two years of all beef. And then, because y'all look, these niggas got to be relevant for the next five, six years. Y'all think Drake going somewhere? That nigga's not going no motherfucking where. That, that nigga going somewhere. He's not going nowhere. None. Heck no. And we're going to take a, a moment, man, to shout out to today's sponsor, man. Video is sponsored by the Goth Batty. The link is in the description box. Subscribe to the channel. She got a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel will be in the description box after this video. She's sponsoring the channel, man. We're going to be shouting out. We're going to try to get some merch for her on, on some shirts. I'm going to have to get a shirt made, so we're going to be rocking it. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to her supporting the boy. Uh, the link's in the description box. But um, I see why Drake got out of there. The shit is manufactured. Even though he's really been number one. Y'all niggas listen to 217. Young boy for years. Fuck out of here. Let lyrics come back. But ain't nobody listening to young 21 Savage. I never listened to a 21 Savage project from start to finish. And y'all hit the like button too, man. You niggas is niggas need to hit the like button. Hit the like button. You niggas need to hit the cash app. Y'all, what's going on? Is it a recession? What's going on? Cash app pin in the comment sections. Right at the top. You click it. Send the money. Send the money now. Now. All of y'all, send it now. This is what YouTubers do. We ain't up here for free. Trying to, try, try to drain everything you got. <laughs> All trash, don't listen to no one. Kendrick, Drake, Rick Ross, and J. Cole. I got to bring, I gotta bring, start bringing girls up here. I need some females, man. You niggas, niggas is the cheapest motherfuckers. Damn, I something told me not to scare the bitches away. They just want to hear the truth. It's not my fault, y'all. I did not mean to scare the bitches away. I just know women don't want to hear the fucking truth. All right? I'm not about to sugarcoat shit. It's my platform to say what the fuck I want. It just come with a it come with a territory, man. It come with a territory. Something told me to stop. I remember one day I was going off on women. Something said, Dwayne, just shut the fuck up. But I had to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, all the girls gone. The girls donate. Now, I will say women, women, where the fuck y'all get all this money from? <laughs> Equal rights, my ass. Stop, y'all. Females be having their own car, their own crib, their own house. They shit be put together perfect. Then you go to the crib, they be blowing money on decorations. Y'all, I don't have money to spend $50 on a punk-ass picture that's going to sit there. You will fuck my no fucking day. Y'all, my house is plain. I got a pure dude house. You got no curtains in my fucking windows. Goddamn 
towels in my damn bathroom. I got a little small rug in my bathroom. I put on the floor when I got the shower. That's about it. Ain't no fucking decorators. There's a couch in the living room, a damn desk, little end table, and a TV. That's all that's in my living room, man. I ain't got. I probably got one lamp. My bedroom is plain as hell. I'm a pure dude. Girls be buying. They got money to buy decorations. You know the girl, the game crazy. They be buying plants and shit. What the fuck I get this money from, man? I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. This time I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to start doing breakdowns on females to bring the girls back. And we're gonna have to kiss their ass on the videos. That's the only way to do it, fellas. They don't want to hear the truth. Girls want to hear lies and lies and lies. You know what I'm saying? Men don't want to see the truth. Women don't want to hear the truth. Men don't want to see the truth. We want to we want to see you look the best. We don't want to see you taking the shit in 4 a.m. or that time you're throwing. I remember one time I was dating a girl. And I seen the truth. I went to pick her up. She was in a dress. She was cute, but she was sick. She was like, I don't feel too good, daddy. That's how her voice was. She was the sweetest girl, man. She said, I don't feel too good, daddy. I said, you good, baby. I'm about to just take you home. Oh, he threw up all in my car. Bitch had snot coming out of her nose. Throw up everywhere. So imagine seeing this beautiful ass girl throw up all down her face and snot bubbles coming out of her mouth and her eyes red. She looking at me, looking like a straight demon. I'm like, I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, men don't want to see the truth, but that's the truth right there. This is what you, you dealing with a real human. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to see glitz and glamour all that. She got the shit. She got the piss. She got to throw up. She going to get sick. The breath going to stink. The feet going to get crusty. It's just the truth. Men don't want to see that shit, but we have to. You know what I'm saying? Women don't want to hear the truth. Yeah, motherfucker, we going to tell you the truth, but they don't want to hear that shit. They just want to. And I ran them away, man. You know what I'm saying? Because now, now with you niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas is real niggas. But y'all niggas, man, y'all be, be greedy like a motherfucker. <laughs> nigga got that mucus in his chest. Drake and CIA along with Ross. Now they beefing. But really, I'm thinking, what are we doing being distracted from? Because this shit's so random. Gino, I can explain it. It's not a particular situation that you're distracted from. It's so your punk ass, can, not saying you a punk ass nigga, I'm saying humans in general. It's so your punk ass can keep playing, paying them damn taxes, nigga. Pay them taxes and be entertained. Go to work tomorrow. Let me tell you something. The system is never going to stop. No matter what war. Remember when World War II happened? Niggas was losing their lives in World War II. What was niggas doing at home? Going to fucking work. It's a whole world war. I got to take the milk. <laughs> you take them, yeah, deliver, niggas was delivering milk, nigga. Niggas was delivering milk in 1940. An entire world war is going on. A new drop and book thousands of people in Japan. Niggas seen the shit on the news and went to work, nigga, and paid taxes. That's a distraction. Keep going to work. This shit's not, this system's never going to stop. Y'all be thinking the apocalypse about to come. I keep telling y'all, apocalypse never going to come. None of that shit y'all think about to come back. The world is never going to end. This, this little system we got is never going to end. You going to keep going to work. Y'all be talking, I seen some shit now with Israel blowing up. Israel blowing up. Nick, guess what you're going to do tomorrow? You're going to go to fucking work and pay them fucking taxes. You're going to pay them taxes, man. That's what's going to happen, bro. You're going to buy something that's going to get taxed. They're going to keep getting that ass. That's what's going to keep happening. That's, that's the distraction. The distraction is keep going to work. Don't ever wake up and realize, hey, if, if they didn't keep us entertained, more and more niggas will wake up and stop working. Soon, that's what's gonna have more and more. Stop, we'll start working, man. All them niggas CIA, they've been running the same thing since. Cause let me tell you something, man. They are still like the plan that's going on for like stealing our rights, changing the rights. They gonna keep doing that shit no matter what. But it's all everybody work together. Cause they all know the money comes from the people. You got people over here. We got people over here. How can we keep our people working? They don't want to track us. We got to stay away from being a unit and working together. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and if you want to get deeper to that, well, hey, hey, man, somebody tell all them niggas on TikTok to shut the fuck up. <laughs> somebody said today, meditation is evil. Don't meditate because, you know, an idle mind is devil playground. Hey, man, shut the fuck up. Somebody tell all them TikTok niggas, them woke TikTok motherfuckers to shut the fuck up. I'm tired of TikTok niggas. Every time I look up, it's some new shit. 
Yeah, nigga, broccoli is a man-made fruit, so you can't eat broccoli. Hey, my nigga, you see this? You see this on the back of this jar? That right there is that number. That's the that's the Lord's number, and that's for God. So you see that four five? That four five is nine, and six seven upside down is eight. Nigga, shut the fuck up. You niggas driving me crazy, man. And y'all be having niggas watching this shit. There's a nigga online telling y'all not to take showers. You ain't supposed to watch every day. Where are y'all doing the studies? Who's doing the studies? Who's doing the studies? I do social studies every day. I'm still haven't came with my conclusion yet. I do social. I, I'm doing a social study on BDI niggas. It's BDI niggas, and I've been meet every time I meet a BDI nigga. I do. I say certain things and 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 play out certain situations. And most BDI niggas all act the same. All BDI niggas. All BDI niggas. But then there's some BDI niggas that's highly trustworthy, but they look like a Cornelius. If you see a BDI nigga who, who brown skin with big teeth, he look like his name Cornelius, he's trustworthy. Light skin niggas with BDIs who 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 who, who look like parents higher than them niggas and light skin niggas are not trustworthy. I've been studying these niggas for years. Every time I meet these light skin, these light skin niggas with BDI niggas, I run a series of questions. Who's doing the fucking studies to tell you you're not supposed to take showers? All you TikTok niggas, man, please shut the fuck up, man. I'm tired of you niggas, man. I'm tired of you niggas. That came from the heart. I'm gonna say that all day. J. Cole was just at Kendrick's show. A stands to bring back Illuminati talk. You're gonna mainly stick to this. Vortex, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. And this this is Illuminati talk. <laughs> this is y'all, I've been giving y'all the same show with a different title for nigga. This is the Dwayne McClain podcast. This is a this is rebranding. Look, I can bring back Illuminati talk, and guess what? I'm gonna end up still talking about fucking bitches in my dick at some point in time of the show. I did this shit back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I think more so back then, I was really locked into the conspiracy shit. Cause I, I was really like locked into this shit. Then over time I got woke to this shit, like, yo, you really not gonna stop this shit. You know what I'm saying? Then I kind of just got tired of talking about it. But I would say when I first did Illuminati talks, I could stay on topic more. But it started changing because I had somebody might come in and ask me a question, and I like I would want to answer. Like somebody might ask me my topic on females. But I always, I remember always at some point talking about my dick at some point in time and how many bitches I fucked. It's, hey, Vortex Fees is going to happen. But you're actually watching Illuminati Talk right now. You know what I'm saying? It's just rebranded, man. <laughs> Shout out my boy Vic, man. He sent that strong. Um, my boy Vic be the only one showing. Vic and Real Bo the Realist in, in the chat, man. They be the only one showing love. Trust me, they brought. Shout out to the Patreon support. I'm, I'm putting on Patreon this week too. We don't just, I'm gonna just drop on Patreon all week. Beyonce, not this week, but yeah, this week. What's that? Monday. I, I still got time. By the end of the week, my barber fucked my shit. Look, my shit is slamming, ain't it? I, to, I told that nigga he fucked me up, but from a distance you don't know, you don't see it. But up close, man, that shit. I told that nigga, man. Now that shit gotta grow back. Now he, he better not bring this shit back. My, I'm gonna just tell him, man, don't touch this side, bro. Fuck my shit up. Pay attention, but even the Diddy shit was trash. I feel it. It just wasn't big enough, so they pulling his beef shit. No, man. Let me tell you how it really play out. When the new shit come on the news, you got one or two days before it gets boring. You can't talk about Diddy for three months. It's going to get boring. You got, look, there's 12 months in a year. How can we keep you engaged every month? We need likes. We need Twitters. We got this story for the first week. This can get us to May. Okay, what we got for going on in May? Okay, what we have going on in June? Diddy, one of the, it was a distraction, yeah, but you, you seen the Diddy shit? Oh, he fucked kids? Go to work. Ah, oh, shit, Jeffrey Epstein, fuck kids? Go to work. We could have been stopped Jeffrey Epstein. We could have been stopped him. Everybody, if a million people quit their job right now and swarm the place and say, well, where's Jeffrey Epstein at? Nobody can stop us. Yes, the niggas might lose their life, but nobody can stop us. We just gonna keep going to work. Niggas ain't about niggas is not about to sacrifice their comfortability. You know what I'm saying? When niggas stop giving a fuck, that's when it's gonna really hit the fan. This was really gonna hit the fan. But that's never gonna happen. Shout out Simone, 21 can't rap. All I ever understood, I never understood the hype. Me neither. Bro, stop begging, nigga. Nobody gonna pay you. Nigga. I'ma do this, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'ma do this, nigga. We gonna come up here. It ain't begging for money, nigga. This is YouTube, nigga. 
This is YouTube. This is what we all do. When you be hearing YouTubers saying, and cop the merch. Something, something, something. My, my new merch. And make sure you also get my book. They begging. They just selling. I'm just coming straight to you, nigga. Give me the bread. Nigga, I ain't got shit but the goddamn the big ass eyes, the dumb ass jokes, and some fat bitch stories. Hit the goddamn cash out. <laughs> I ain't got no book. You, you, you want a book? You want to know how you want to learn how to do Illuminati breakdowns? I teach you how to do Illuminati breakdowns. You want to know how to you want to learn how to get on YouTube? I can teach you that. Niggas, I, I learned that niggas people want to pay for shit. Niggas don't want free shit. Niggas want to pay for shit. I can literally give you guys play by play on how to get you some free ass. You guys get laid every night. I can get you guys the playbook. I literally can. Don't give me. I might just start selling to you niggas every night, man. I'm to, that's what I'm having to do. I'm having to, go buy my book now. Are you alone right now? Are you at a person right now? You're not getting any ass. Are you looking stupid? Well, buy my book. You'll be getting laid tonight. You'll be with a woman tonight. The girl of your dreams. <laughs> I really think I'll probably, I might be made to sell on the internet, man. So I might start doing it. Man. You niggas. I'm being real to niggas, man. Hit the cash out. You know what I'm saying? Cash out. You scared the hoes off. Shake my head. This time last year, the chat was, was hoes like Red Star. Red Star never showed her face. So what the fuck does that mean? But you right, man. You right. My niggas, my niggas still here. Shout out my niggas, man. We going, you know, I'm going to talk shit. You saying, Dwayne, you be scaring the hoes off. You got to keep it up. Man, fuck them hoes. They just want to go live and live a Cinderella story type. Brother scared off his bread source. I fucked up when I tried to have sex with him. That's my problem. I learned my lesson, man. I, and I fucked up recently too, man. Like I tried to holler at a subscriber. That bitch was fine. That bitch was fine. Bitch was fine as hell. She liked one of the videos. I typed her name in, found her on Instagram. I said, "Damn, bitch, I'm about to holler. This bitch, this bitch is fine. This bitch is fine as hell. Shit. God damn. Here's what it is. I might take that L. You know what I'm saying? But she, she wanted to be in the chat like that." Dan and the hoes are gone for good. Being a woman is expensive. We have to have money. Women face card carried them through life. Girls more iced out than guys now. Do you think Punch made Dev is a federal agent? I I, I don't want to keep giving these niggas federal agent turns, man. <laughs> I feel like these niggas do be plants. I don't feel like he's a federal agent, but he could be. Y'all, go look up the rapper Sign. That's the that's the Bad boy, we're the niggas gonna run the street. Bad, look that nigga up, light skinned nigga. Damn, with my song on the telephone, she heard my voice telling me to pick her up in the Rolls Royce, and that's my shit. This nigga shine, a nigga who shot a nigga for Diddy, is a politician now. This how he talk, y'all. And I came here in peace for my family. We have a government that does not look for out for our people. We have a government. I'm being for real, y'all. Rapper, shine. As the as the dust to dust. Bad boy. I was born in the trunk. That nigga. Well, my government and my people. I am here for my people and my government. He's a nigga from Belize or some shit. If you can meet niggas, if you can get a rapper like Shine, shout out my boy Vic. He sent that strong cash. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Not cash. He sent that Zell. If you get a nigga like Shine to rap like that, what makes you think they ain't got other rappers who can just turn it off and cut it back on? What makes y'all think they ain't got that? They have, I'm pretty sure most of the rappers are, are all CIA. Tupac was high, highly CIA. But CIA portrayed it. Y'all gotta look up the, what's that, what's that operation? Fishbowl? Not fish, operation, not paperclip. Where they, the CIA, Infiltrated the journalism. He infiltrated the media. Here we go with the Kendrick this. Dwayne, leave for four months to come back. Like, come back with a suit. Like, you said you would. The women will come back. Oh, <laughs> if I come back and come back in a suit and start and come back with like a very HD. Like right now, I got some ghetto shit going. On. I, I like and I like having a ghetto look, but you only can go so far being ghetto and low budget. Now this is a low. This is a cell phone and a motherfucking. Uh, goddamn tripod. You can only go so far with this shit. If I ever got like a high budget, like I, somebody invest like 10K, we buy nice cameras, high budget lights. I sit up here in the suit. I'm a Kevin Samuel, you bitches. I would love to be the next Kevin Samuels, but I, I, I probably could, man. I probably could. Like, I feel like I could probably do it better because y'all ain't going to say 
uh, a nigga flamboyant. You know what I'm saying? They can't say I'm flamboyant. They can't look at me. Kevin Samuels came off flamboyant, man. But I ain't gonna lie, we need that nigga back. I hate they killed that nigga. That nigga was, he was, he was probably one of the best gems on the internet, man. And everybody want to call the nigga flamboyant. What happened was he got too big, got too famous, too fast, they killed him off. I hate it when he got Nicki Minaj and Future and them, and they killed the nigga off, man. He probably was, somebody saying he traced McGrath. I believe he was a real nigga, but I think he got too close to them niggas. And when you get too close to them celebrities, they're going to kill you, man. They're going to kill you, especially if you don't push their agenda. Kevin Samuels wasn't pushing that agenda. He wanted men to do, um, to, to focus on themselves. He said he wanted women to get back to their baby daddy. He was pushing truth to shit that we really need to be doing. And they, they, it's not the agenda. It's not the agenda is not order. The agenda right now is chaos. Niggas need mohawks. Niggas need nose rings. Niggas need tats on their face. Niggas do not need a well-cut, clean-shaven businessman. They don't want that. They don't want that image out there. That image cannot exist. Only a few niggas, only a few niggas gonna have that image. Niggas who seen their daddy do that. You know what I'm saying? Do I how strong is a 600 milligram edible? I never drank or smoke. I'm trying to get my boy high as fuck. Do I how strong is a 600 milligram edible? I never drank or smoked. Don't do that to your homie, man. And, and, and edible ain't shit, man. Look, sky's the limit with marijuana. All right, yeah, marijuana's not a drug, man. It's not no real drugs. We're gonna we talk about that white or them perks. Come holler at me, man. That lean, shrooms, holler at me, man. We, we, marijuana and shit, man. You can eat a hundred and things. He gonna trip. He gonna probably start panicking and get high anxiety. It's probably not gonna happen. He can probably start thinking and get a stomach ache. That's about it. But he's good. But when you wanna talk about some drugs for real? Come holler at me, man. I can tell if that bitch ain't shining and that shit ain't that flake and that shit ain't glistening from the sun. They don't break down like that. That shit ain't no real shit. That shit cut stepped on. Two fat blunts will, will have him high if you know how to roll. Yeah, man. Nigga get the collection plate out. Can you teach us how to scam? We want money. I can teach you how to scam. I can teach you how to jug. At the end of the day, you got to pay that. Punch my dead music is goaded. So you, you don't think America going to go to war ask you type shit? Nigga, No. No, the countries that can go to war will go to war. America, China, Russia, Germany, no. People in the Ukraine, I spoke with niggas in the Ukraine. I spoke with niggas in the Ukraine. They said they're still going to work and there's no conflict. They said that shit's media. They said, yeah, there's some shit going on, but they don't know. Niggas is still going to work. Spoke with niggas. Niggas from around the globe hit me up. Oh, man. <sighs> y'all, what happened to the fucking food shortage? What happened to the floods? I told all you niggas, I'm the only nigga on the internet who ain't trying to spill fear for views. I'm the only nigga telling y'all live y'all goddamn life. Just take your time. I'm the only nigga that's gonna let y'all know the truth. These niggas will come on here. Yeah, y'all, we all about to die, man. Better get your life right and buy my book, nigga. <laughs> buy my book. Before it was too late. Buy my book. I can't stand them niggas, man. All them niggas look stupid now. All them niggas. Them niggas have made so many fucking predictions. And I keep telling them niggas, nothing's going to fucking happen. You know what I'm saying? Man, I ain't never going to. It ain't never going to be a time where everybody come together. You can't get five foot degree on something. I ain't, stuck in, I ain't stuck in this system, nigga. There's a heaven for it, G. Black Jesus is real. Shit, TikTok is a double agent ass shit's a can cancer. Them TikTok niggas make you want to eat. <laughs> That's nothing. Lame ass TikTok niggas. Bro, one or two shots a day has to be good enough. Jesus not real. Ain't nobody coming from the sky to save our black ass. The only people that can save us is us. They ain't gonna go to work and be in chain so we can stay down. I'm not talking about Jesus, but I'm I'm not from <laughs> Every time I talk shit about Jesus, he be fucking me up. I think the nigga real. <laughs> I think the nigga real. He real. He real some way, some way, foreign fashion. I remember the last time I said Jesus, I said that word. Some bad shit happened to me. Some really bad shit. I'm like, I'm not saying that shit again. <laughs> y'all niggas bold. For, good luck to you niggas for saying I'm not dissing Jesus no more. Y'all, y'all. When the last time y'all heard me talk bad about Jesus? 
I'll tell y'all, I said so one night I was ranting, you know what I'm saying? And I was going off on them. I said, Jesus, Jesus. And some bad shit happened. I'm like, this, and that's not the first time that happened. Another time I said, Jesus, I got a splinter in my hand, like a splinter that, Matt, y'all ever had a splinter of wood that came like that to your hand? It's almost like I got crucified, part, a quarter of a crucifixion. A big ass splinter came in his hand, lift all this skin up. I'm shot the scar gone. I'm like, it was around the time. So the two times in my life, I said, Jesus, y'all got, I think the nigga real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like think he real. He real. He's real in some form of fashion. Do I believe Jesus is real in that form of the Bible? No, I don't believe that. Do I believe God sent his son down here to die for our sins? And I don't believe that either. I don't believe that. But do I believe that he's real? He's real. I'm going to leave it at that. I ain't talking about it. Y'all Y'all see, I ain't said this shit. I left that shit alone. <laughs> y'all, I, I'm, I'm fucking with him, man. Y'all like, the last time that happened, I said, you got it. Uh, I, I'm a believer, man. I'm not going to believe 100%, <laughs> but I'm a believer, bro. <laughs> we, we're good. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I don't even use TikTok. I got on one day last week, saw niggas talking about you're not supposed to wash your legs. <laughs> but tell them TikTok niggas. Please, if y'all, if anybody can do me a favor, please clip that and put it. So, so somebody make me a TikTok. You won't get paid, but once the TikToks are getting paid, we'll reimburse you. But cut these videos up and post them on TikTok. I'm not doing the work. I mean, I can, maybe I should, but I just want to put that out there. You TikTok niggas, please shut the fuck up. Please. Every party who everybody who was woke is locked the fuck up right now. All the woke niggas is locked up. Why Rashad Jamal, all the niggas is all locked up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they come, they coming for our teachers and shit, man. So is all celebrities bisexual. Did you see the video of Jada Smith bumping kiss? Yeah, I seen that. That shit was funny as hell. Man, your head ass shaped like like that. I ain't gonna lie. I know Cullen that got rich off dead music. Yeah, OJ said that shit never happened. Go watch Industry Host Reveal. He talks about that shit. That shit never happened. 21, he's a mere rapper. Bro, ever since you got. Lazy, the hoes dip. Man, the hoes was dipping when I was working. I, I'm telling you how I take what happened. This is what really happened. I tried to holler at all of them, and once they met the real me, they're like, oh, he's too accessible now. You, I, I lost my, my, he's a regular nigga. You better learn. You, if y'all niggas ever get a chance, you, or you're on a platform, keep your exclusivity. Do not let them hoes see the real you. No. Keep your exclusivity. And when they ever meet you, Nigga, you better you better put on the front, nigga. They soon as they see that real you, that pussy gonna dry. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna dry up. Niggas need mouthpiece majority, Dwayne. Nigga, I supported your channel last year. Let me chill for a minute. Nigga, ain't no chilling, nigga. I'm still making content. Nigga talking about last year. Nigga, we got a whole new year, nigga. Nigga talking about support last year. They all live. You started speaking the truth on why they single moms. Bro, y'all. I got to say this before I leave. We was all raised by some loud mouth, angry, I ain't going to call them B words, but y'all know I want to say that. 90% of the black, previous black, two, 90% of the three black generations were all raised by controlling loud alpha male women. Think about it. Can we tell any of our mama shit? No. Who run the household 90 times, 90% of us? I'm talking about majority of households. Majority, 80% of the black community. In the hood, what do you see? Loud ass single black women. All our mamas, all our aunties are loud as hell. You can't tell them shit and they mean as fuck and they control it and they beat the fuck out the kids. How many niggas got YouTube skits of them acting like a black mom beating the kids? White boys ain't got this image. Mexican boys ain't got this image. Well, Mexican boys be getting slapped by their mama. They do, but not like us. Look how many skits are on YouTube where a niggas wearing a wig and acting out the uh, act of a mo black mom beating the kids. We all were raised by these loud, crazy, out of control women. It's just a crazy. That was, think about We can't tell our mama shit right now. Look how many, and every time we see a nigga married to one of these motherfuckers, and in today's time, every time I see a black dude married to one of them, you know what he's doing? Okay, babe. Just no voice. No voice. I, I was dating a chick. 
She invited me over. All the women moving around, all the men's doing it. That's all they doing all day. The women running around the house, yelling at the kids, controlling everything. Now it's not a bad thing. We got some strong alpha male females. Was it that I'm gonna ask the question? Was it weak ass niggas? Because that previous generation of men, of black men, majority of niggas won't shit. Majority of them niggas did was go to fucking church and that was it. Majority, I'm talking about 80% of these niggas. Niggas was drug addicts and went to church. That whole entire previous generation was fucked. But a lot of us was raised by some loud motherfuckers. They're just you can't tell you nothing to them motherfuckers. Can't say shit. We grown now, we can't say shit. And our mamas run our daddies. If a nigga see if a nigga sees his mama married right now, black couple married, the mama run the shots in the household. I only met a few couples where the dad was talking shit to the mama, a few of them. One time, a few, a few relationships. And those niggas, for some reason, always being fraternities and Freemasons. Every time I see a black dude where he running this household, it's a, a, a Freemason bald face motherfucker. Got a bald face. You know what I'm saying? But nine times, not 90% of the households in our black communities, the women call the shots and they just loud motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm not lying. I think drinking Obama were made with by racial purpose. He had hoes in check, low key. Can't be rapping out if you ain't fat either. Feel something like ISIS wisdom, young Pharaoh, Vontu Collins, and Fear Mall spiritual agents. You way behind in your comments, Dwayne. Dwayne, if you do skits off TikTok, you'll be famous and get all the chicks. I, I, it sounds easier to say than done. I done tried a few skits. I'm like, these shits ain't come out right. <laughs> I made a few. I'm like, yo, these shits ain't coming out right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't try and be funny. I can only be funny in the moment. So I would have to just either go live on TikTok or, or find a way to do it. But if I try to be funny, it comes out cringy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it and put it out into the public and let y'all have it. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I think <laughs> that could probably be a skit. Then. That could probably be a skit, man. Just the old black generation of men, I'm telling you, man. And I'm not talking about all of them. I want to talk about some of them. My daddy slapped my mama. My daddy was about that. He beat my mama ass, nigga. My mama, my, mama, my daddy didn't get beat up by my mama. I got too many stories about black men who say their daddy just emasculated and could not live with their mama, so. Um, I, I'm I'm saying that there is a percentage of young black boys who seen their daddy with their mama and their daddy was the alpha male. But I'm talking about 80% of us did never seen that. <laughs> we never seen that. And we go home, man, Bieber looks scared, almost traumatized. How Bieber seen is was him. Bieber looked like Ellen. Damn, I can't relate to my parents. Damn, I can't relate. My parents won't like that. Bro, stupid, but that shit is true. These niggas too weak now. That's why hoes glorify said they show you weak. They can control you. Just make skits from bars from your songs, bro. I finally caught to the comments. Damn, I'm behind like a motherfucker. Not all them, not all them, some of them bars are fabricated. Some of them are. I might pull them up, but most of them are, I try to come from real spot. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm going to give you guys a, a tip on simping. You got to know when to say yes and when to say no. When you're on a date with a chick, your daddy. When I pick my kids up, I'm daddy with my kids. My kids say, daddy, I want ice cream. I get them ice cream. My kids want to get more ice cream. I'll tell them, no, we just got ice cream. No. When you're on a date with a chick, oh, can we go shopping? Yeah, baby, let's go shopping. Your daddy, nigga. You're on a date. You want to get fucking laid. Spend the bread. You're not sipping. You want you're trying to get, do you want to get laid or not? You want to get laid, spend the bread. Yeah, baby, let's go shopping. I got you. Oh my god, picking all this shit up. She gonna be out be out with a sensible chick. Don't tell her a budget. This is how you drag it out. Have her try on a bunch of shit and just say you don't like it. Don't just let her pick up shit. Oh, I like this. Ooh, baby, that person don't match. Pick up this. Oh, that don't match. Get her to get one, you pay for that. Then you got to switch it. As soon as you spend something, let's get something to eat. Oh, let's go do something fun. Dad look crazy, over. let's go over there. Y'all got to be daddy and lead. Your daddy. She wants to stay a little later, stay a little later. 
all right? Don't be trying to be boring, all right? Be real and just keep going with the flow of things. Shut the fuck up. It's not about you. Hear her problems. Let her do all the talking. Don't you start talking about your life. Yeah, well, my mom and my dad and my brother and my sister and my cousin. No, nigga, shut up. Shut the fuck up. This is not simping. This is how you get laid. You niggas don't get no pussy. This is, I'll give you guys play by fucking play. What to do? Let her do all the talking. Do all the talking. You're on a date with the girl. You open the door for her because you're fucking daddy. With my kids, open the door for them. Open the door for her. your daddy. All right? Make sure the whip clean. Sit it down. Now, she's going to open her own door to get out. Don't you whip. Hold on, baby. Run around the car, open the door for her. Let her get out on her own. Boy, she getting the car, open the door. No, man, I ain't mean like it's a shopping date. I'm just saying if she hits you up, she says she want to go shopping, we do that. I feel the first date do need to be some drinks. The first date is only 30, 40 bucks. Where y'all get this $200, $300? First date, some drinks, shoot some pool, go home. That's about it. Get some chicken wings. That's the first date. It's usually that it. But I'm just letting you guys know. He said we getting dating else. We got special fours and fives regularly. Nigga, what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that, nigga? <laughs> nigga, I'm getting ass, nigga. <laughs> I don't get that topic. A uh, five is a straight bitch getting my dick sucking. I'm getting cooked food. What is wrong with that? And I can show you my last few out here. They want no fives. And no, they was some. They was up there. I had some good, decent ones. You know what I'm saying? But what is wrong with him? fours and fives? <laughs> y'all niggas out here beating y'all me, stressing out trying to get the baddest bitch. You niggas better start here for y'all niggas ain't handsome. I look better than you niggas than I hit fours and fives. You niggas are out of shape and ugly and broke. <laughs> y'all niggas better hit fours and fives, nigga. What the fuck's wrong with you niggas, man? Y'all niggas out here beating y'all meat at 30 years old with lotion and jerseys, and there's a bitch outside. She might have a little stomach, got a fat ass and some nice titties. What's wrong with that? A cute little face. What's wrong with that? Hit that man, and these fours and fives think they're sevens. A four and a five is no longer a, a, a true four and a five now because the girl who thinks she's a seven is really a five. So, if I'm hitting a seven, if I'm hitting like a five right now, I'm hitting today seven. She said, Oh, shout out to God. This is the sponsor of the channel, man. She said, I'm definitely a six or seven on an amazing day. And I, hey, look, I don't see nothing wrong with that. I, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas might say that's you know lower or that's bad. I don't see nothing wrong with hitting no. No five. I don't see nothing wrong with it. And some niggas might be like, oh, nah. So if she a six in somebody's eyes, because in my eyes, she might look better. So shit, I don't give a fuck. I hit bitches with kids, guts and rolls, fat bitches. I don't give a fuck. They be cute in the face. This is just a devil cute. What I say, she's got to be a little splash of cute, bro. Look, this is how, this how cute she got to be. Hold on. This is my holy water. She's going to be look. It's a little dab of cute. A little bit dab of cute. That's all she got to be. That's it. Y'all niggas out here ain't hitting shit. Better than 0-3. Sup? Shout out to Joe in the building. Dwayne, do you know how many dudes out here ain't getting booty at all? Bro, a lot of you niggas. Y'all niggas only want to pay for the girl a meal. You think you're simping. Y'all don't understand how women are. They looking for a fucking... They want daddy when they out. We don't call a girl mommy when we hitting it. We ever just like, give me that mommy. You don't say that. Girls call your daddy when you're hitting it. At least they call me that. <laughs> no about you niggas. I got booty for <laughs> she got booty for you. Got, got you were saying you got a fat ass for them. But women, when we call you ain't calling a girl mommy. So girls call you dad. That's what they want. When they you out with a chick, pay for a food, nigga. You ask on a date, pay, nigga. Pay for the meal. And I don't know what kind of girls y'all dating. I date girls that pay for the meals. Girls take me, I don't have girls take me out on dates. But life different when you have some though. Like my life, I can't speak of my life. I had girls, pay, good looking women pay for the dates. But I'm talking about really good looking women, y'all. Wow, fellas, really good looking women. All the girls I've dated in my life either paid for the second date or bought the food or caught the tip. My entire life's been like that. From the uglies to the baddies. Even when the baddest, the baddest chick on my list right now I ever hit in my life pays for the date. I don't, maybe it's because it's back then, but even today's time, I even dated a chick recently. She paid for the date, nigga. Paid for it, paid for everything. 
They said don't listen to Dwayne. Don't listen to D. D gonna have you niggas with a dry ass dick all fucking year long. Don't listen to me. Don't do not listen to D at all. D gonna go to a bitch, do all the talking, let that girl talk, man. Let that girl, and, and, D, I know you a simp, nigga. You forgot, nigga. You was a simp just like me. Nigga, try to act like he hard, nigga. This nigga's a whole simp just like me, nigga. He like them bitches just like I like them bitches, man. He be, he, he's really friendly to these hoes. This nigga, yeah, don't this nigga front to y'all, man. Like he's some alpha. This nigga's a simp like me, nigga. This nigga like these bitches. He be liking them hoes, man. True, I had an eleven offer to pay for the whole thing. My last vibe bought a Nike tag. She said the lies, Joey. My boy Seven laughing. Yeah, man, shit. I don't give a fuck. Y'all might see me out with a, with a y'all. I know when I'm out with a chick. I know in my eyes she's highly attractive. I, I'm attracted to ugly bitches, so shit. I like a woman who ain't perfect. Y'all like me some flaws on a bitch, cause I know I ain't perfect. So even if I was abbed up, I'd still be fucking on an ice cream cone chick. But um, I still, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't see nothing wrong. If you see me out with a five, I'm, I'm out with a five. You can't say shit if you're alone. I still left, so I, so I still lost. I'm just letting y'all be knowing, man. I'm telling y'all, if y'all niggas want this shit, y'all better listen, man. I'm going to write you niggas a step-by-step -step play on how to get laid. All right? It's, it's simple. First thing first, to my ugly niggas, you need, if you know you butt ugly, you need to be fresh and have a nice car. Me? I can get me. I'm six foot one, 200 pounds. And I'm and my 200, my 200 pounds even show. You might think I'm 165 if you saw me. Somebody like Dan Dwayne, you look mad skinny. I'm 200 pounds, but my, my weight's evenly proportioned over my body. Great genetics. You know what I'm saying? Got the, you know what I'm saying? I know I got the, the daggone Hollywood smile. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, I always show the teeth. I always show the teeth. I've been smoking cigarettes and shit, so they kind of a little yellow, but we're going to get them bitches white. You know what I'm saying? So, for my niggas who butt, see me, I don't need a nice car and, and nice clothes. I can be out in a white tee and basketball shorts. The girl gonna look. For my ugly niggas, my fat niggas, my, 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 my ugly bad skin niggas, get fly, get a great job, and get some money, okay? Learn to listen. Y'all niggas trying to learn how to spit game. No, all you need to learn how to do is listen, man. Just listen. She said, I, I get wet when I see guys in a butt down and a shoe other than Nike or Jordan. And y'all like to have the um the sways on. Niggas don't got no sauce, don't know how to talk on no mouthpiece. Cigarettes, you tripping, Dwayne. Shit, this cigarettes hit. Y'all niggas out here vaping. Fuck. Dwayne, you know you be getting friends on. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I done told y'all on this channel I'm 15 years in the friend zone right now, nigga. There's a girl I went to high school with. We, I, she got me in the friend zone right now. Fifth, which I know about 15 years. I'm y'all, and I'm ready to do 20 in the friend zone. Y'all niggas don't know nothing about that. Nothing. I need me a milf, nigga. Niggas don't go. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all just learn how to use y'all ears. Learn. He said, Dwayne, you smoke flocker. I know you know how to buy no flocker. Or what is flocker? I don't even know where you can get that from. Hell no. Well, y'all, y'all know it's up for me. We gone. Shouts out to everybody supporting the channel, man. Y'all niggas, I'm going to try to do a two-hour with y'all one night, man. I'm not doing no two-hour. I got a job. I got a full-time job I do. I got to get up tomorrow and talk to a bunch of ugly motherfuckers tomorrow. I got to talk to ugly motherfuckers every day. Y'all, let me tell y'all something about being in the friend zone. You know I missed the friend zone pussy I done got my entire life. I know for a fact I at least hit 10 of them. Girls who put me in the friend zone. And guess what? I don't flirt back. You know how many girls said, damn, you never hit on me. Now it can be a gift and a curse. Because if you never hit on them, how are you going to get them? But three girls came up to me and told me on three separate occasions. They was like, I fuck with you, Dwayne, because you never tried me. Never tried me. And guess what? They threw it right in my lap. But when they, one time, remember what I said, it would mess you up because They'll want you to come get it. They'll want. They'll give you the sign, like, come get this shit. Nigga, like, fuck that friend shit, bitch. Get out the friend zone. They'll send you a sign. I remember one time I had a girl, she was always doing, like, I, we was working, right? I'm at a call center working. Every day she would come and just wear these leggings and just look at me, knowing I'm looking at her ass. I'm like, 
Bitch, I'm about to come get that shit. Like, <laughs> just, hey, fuck this friend. She, I'm on the phone. She'll look at me one day. She said some shit to me. Like, I'm like, I'm sitting on your lap or some shit. I'm like, bitch, the friends is over. You know what I'm saying? This is after we done, I done went, been through some boyfriends with her and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, look, y'all niggas better stop being so damn thirsty, man. Y'all better learn how to be these girls' friend. Because they, they, they looking for a friend any way they want. Yo, the number one way to get it is having a girl comfortable around you. Y'all niggas don't get that shit. You got to be your friend first. You got to be your friend first. Friends first, nigga. She got to be comfortable around you. You niggas coming out the gate trying to... Y'all drive the girl out, man. Y'all drive them out, man. Y'all, y'all be driving them out. You had me being 20 years in the friend zone. Yes, nigga. What you know about that? Y'all niggas ain't. Y'all niggas is lame. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas lame as hell. I ain't actively chasing the girl now, but she know I want to hit that, man. She know that. I ain't never really... Now, in the friend zone, never say, I like you. We in the friend zone. Don't never say, I, she going to call you. You end the conversation when you talk to her enough. All right, man, I'm going to holler at you. I got something to do. Click. Put some pussy wet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He got a life. He's not into me. The first guy. She going to come over. You sit on the other side of the couch. Now, if she comes to the crib, she talking and shit, you going to know if this is a friend you can knock down. Make sure when she pull up as your friend, cologne up, hair cut up. Teeth floss, skin lotioned up. You got your joggers on. You got your you got your do rag sitting clean. You know what I'm saying? House clean. You know what I'm saying? She chill. You chill. She have a good time, and you say, "Hey, I'm about to go to sleep. You got to bounce." Oh my God! Okay, we just friends. Go out to the bar with her. You holler at you some hoes. You go out, and she see you getting other girls. No, I do this, man. Y'all talking about nigga twenty years, man, nigga. I don't know what I'm saying 20. This girl lives in a whole other state, man. We still cool, but we she lives in a whole other state. I'm never gonna see this girl. So friend zone guys can get one to four times in a friendship lifetime. Don't give up. 74 views before that likes. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. You know Raw Wade got rich to five to 20 pounds. She said, I can do five hours, keep it. Let's get this bread, man. Shit. I'm I, I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> Dwayne, be careful what you say about Jesus and God, he don't play. But I told y'all I don't mess with, I don't say nothing about Jesus no more, man. He said, he said, fuck that friend, so I'm going to stay macking. Y'all, y'all, y'all misinterpreting what I mean by friend zone. You're never really in the friend zone. You just being cool. When you meet a chick, you ain't got, now, if you pursue a chick, you want her to know you like her. Cool. But if this was like, this, this, this type of game is for when you work with chicks, when you are in the area where you see chicks constantly. If you out with a girl and you ask for her number, she give you her number, she know you're not about the friend zone. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to hit. You want to ask her on a date. Take her on a date. Act on a date. Be flirtatious. Try to kiss on her and shit. She might kiss back. She might not. Ask her to come back to the crib. She might not. Do a second date. The second date you ain't hit yet, you might as well give up because she ain't interested. You know what I'm saying? Usually on the first night, you should you should get on the first night. I don't know why. You do you think women having a high body count is a bad thing? I, I don't I don't care. Shit. I'm not about to ask the chick by the count because they all done fuck 2,000 niggas. Hey, man, I know when a woman got a low body count. I can fuck her and tell her, oh, your, your pussy's never been beat before. <laughs> this shit's never, this shit is, girls be lying. They Most girls' body count high as hell, but I don't think about that shit, you know. And to answer your question, it is a bad thing. It is, but I ain't about to, it ain't about to hinder me. The reason why it's a bad thing because I done dated whores. It's embarrassing when you out with a whore and like three niggas done fuck this bitch. <laughs> and you out here you kissing on that shit. You looking stupid as hell. All the niggas done gagged. She done gagged on everybody. And then if you know she a whore, she done gagged on. Now it don't matter. It don't matter when you out. But it's as a man, your ego is going to get, you're going to feel it. Unless you're just 100% confident. But when, when you out with a chick, every one time I was out with a chick, I'm at the club with a chick, I'm at the bar. We walk, we bottled up, we booed up, we buying drinks. Here come a dude. She moved me out of the way. <laughs> Rush to this nigga. I seen the vibe, said, oh, this nigga to fuck this bitch. I'm like, God damn. I said, it ain't. It happens to be the nigga that she's intertwined with. 
And she said, oh my God, this is my friend Dwayne. I hate when a bitch do that. Bro, if this the nigga you fucked on, please don't introduce me to this nigga. So I gotta be like, what's up, bro? Oh ah, yeah, he looking at you, nigga, gonna dick your bitch down. You fucked on the dick, looked on the ball, nigga. Yeah, nigga, you about to look like a whole lane. And then, yeah, she, it's, it's embarrassing. It's, it's really embarrassing when dating a whore. It really is. Now, you got to be confident. Now, did she see any of this on my face that I felt in this way? No. I never even told this bitch none of this shit to this day. I mean, we don't talk no more, but I never told her. She said, did you feel a way when I went and talked to him? I'm like, I ain't feel shit. What are you talking about? Damn thing. At the end of the day, I didn't, but there's feelings that's still there. Because it didn't affect my night. I'm like, nigga, I'm still going to fuck the bitch. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Shit. <laughs> I don't love her. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. This ain't my wife. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have those thoughts no matter what. You can try to lie to yourself when you're out with a slut and you go to the bar and she hated this nigga. You know which nigga she ain't hit and which nigga she did hit. And it's like three niggas you know she gave that look to. you like, but that's why when I'm out with a whore, I, I'm a whore my damn self. I'm hollering at bitches, I'm flirting. Because I was at the same bar that night. I see three girls on a knockdown, so we even. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, shit, bitch, we even. I don't do friend zones. All my hoes come back. I always say the first time you go, fuck you, go. Your heart is that way. They always double back. Tig, you just you still in your 20s and you still got that motor where you fucking for like four, five rounds. Friendships are good to have. Ever needed something. It's nice to have someone you can be there for and all the way around. I think that's what guy in the past. Yeah, man. Shit, I'll be friends with a girl. I'll let it be known. We can be friends. And we ain't got the fuck. We can be friends. And you got to keep it that way because, fellas, we make a toxic environment. We make everything about fucking. We can be friends. I'm cool with that. Even if I find, there's a girl right now, bad as hell. I told her straight up, I don't want shit to do with you. I do not want you. We can be friends. She fine as hell. I would literally go to her crib and chill with her and not try her ever. She, she, for one, she's an Aquarius. I don't fuck with an Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for two, she's like real sedity. You know what I'm saying? She's like, this ain't, this ain't nothing I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be, I'll be her friend. And she bad as hell. Got her phone number, all that shit. I'm, one of you niggas see me on her live or not. She be on Instagram. One of you niggas in this chat see me. They say, look at Dwayne. <laughs> me and lame her live. Don't kiss on the first date. Oh, my God. Shit. I always kiss on the first date. Because it's all going to be a time we get in drinks, I get close, and we're going to look in each other's eyes. I'm all, I, I, I always kiss on the first date. I, don't know. I remember one time a girl took me out bowling, and she wasn't my type, but ended up being my type. And uh, I, I was so unattracted to her. She put a lip gloss on. She was ready to kiss me. I gave her a hug. I looked down at her like, I don't want you. I was just using her up because I needed somewhere to sleep when I was driving for Uber. And uh, she she knew how to get me, too. I like this girl because she was a fighter. So she invited me on a date. And on this date, she dressed different. I told the story before here. So the first date, she got her glasses on. She got, like, a little shirt and some ugly pants. She got Her butt is shaped weird, so it does not look right. So we talking. It's a good little date. I can't bowl. I'm trash. She can't bowl. She trash. You know what I'm saying? She paid for the date. I drive her back to the crib. I have my get back to work. I drive her Uber again. I'm holler at you. Give her a hug. So I come and stay at the crib one night because I'm, I'm tired from driving for Uber. So I, I was driving in another city from where I live. So instead of me driving two hours home or hour and a half back home, because where I was driving at, I want no traffic. So I'll drive to another city where it's traffic. I said, instead of me drive home, I crashed at her crib. I crashed at her crib like three times before I tried to smash. I just, I wasn't attracted to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Kind of too nerdy for me. Like, I wasn't attracted. So I go sleep, I sleep on the couch. She invited me on a date one night. This motherfucker had the pink. I'm telling you guys, I done chilled this girl four times and never tried her. And I was like, this is how I was like. Back her. She had like this halter top, pink halter top, with shoulders out, the black leggings. Now, mind you, she had granny panties on or some type of boy shorts or something. When you got leggings on, you need to wear a thong, okay? When you don't want to see no, men don't want to see no penny line and no fucking leggings. Men don't like penny lines. Real niggas. We want to see a thong on that ass, all right? But anyways, I wasn't faulting her because I knew she was trying. And she had on heels, all right? She had on heels. And she was cooperative. Because I wanted, I, we went to the club. 
I didn't have my ID. Somebody had it. So we just, I said, let's ride back to the crib. It's five minutes away. We shouldn't ride back. Just, I, 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 I want to get a beer while I play pool. Let's ride. Okay. So she rode back. She had to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. So she was cooperative. Grow back, got the ID, play pool. The games are trash. We come back to the crib. She said, hey, you sleeping with me or you sleeping on the couch? Yeah, I'm already like, I'm gonna fuck the bitch tonight. She look good tonight, motherfucker. Bitch, you look good. Bitch, I'm gonna get this pussy tonight. So, get in the bed. You know, if I'm laying in the bed with a chick, I always say, let me get a good night kiss. I always sleep with that. Sound corny as hell, but it works for me. If it works for you, use you. If you want to kiss a girl, you lay in the bed with her, don't ask, just rushing and kiss. Most of the time, they expect it. I learned that later on in life. A girl in your bed, she wants to have sex with you nine times out of 10. You feel the vibe, go for the kiss. Go for the kids, man. Help we make out whatever we do our thing, but uh, yeah, man. She she was a geek. She she kind of got me, but I was a friend at first. But anyway, she told me I remember my day in life for my inter, my intimacy life. How how the fuck does that even work? So you just got so hold on hold on. You mean to tell me you just got niggas y'all just go on dates with? Like hi, let's go to the arcade. Okay, huh, let's have fun. Y'all shooting basketball and shit. Y'all seeing y'all eat. And then, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a date, huh? But fuck, I'm trying to smash. I'm not about to, I'm not doing no friendly date. Fuck that. Not, we going to go bored, but no, man, no. I'm not about to be out no chick. I know I want to dick down. And we just, no. Now, we already established we cool, and you call me to hang out. Yeah, I'll do that. But I would much rather be other people, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, so I don't know. I gotta see what you're saying. Maybe we can talk about it another time. But are you saying you got motherfuckers that you date, like you go to Chuck E. Cheese with, and you got niggas that you fuck, and you keep them two separate? I don't know. I don't know. You don't date whores. You sleep with them in private. <laughs> Forte C's. You are no Dwayne. Going raw, nigga. But I'm going raw. Hell yeah. You on birth control with a guy like Dwayne got a bunch of broke motherfuckers in his check. Don't go out with that. It's embarrassing. You can't bring that an office Christmas party. I don't fuck with Capricorns. Aquarius got to have that wet wet. Sag, Aquarius, Libras. That's my order. No. Sag, Aquarius, Scorpios, Geminis, Libras. But this is just the sex wise. The best sign out of all is Geminis for me. I like Geminis the most. I get along with them the most. And they're the nicest. But sex wise, Sag, Aquarius, Libra. No, Sag Aquarius. Hey, it might be a Taurus, Libra, Scorpio. I ain't never smashed no Leo. I probably smashed the Leo. I didn't know it. Capricorns is not nah, Capricorns. Female Capricorns is ass. It's like they're like number nine. But yeah, I think my no no number five. It gotta be Sash Aquarius. I know the Sash Aquarius number them, them, them top two. That's them thigh owls. Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini. That's my top five out of all the signs. Kelly Sprella, I don't know who that is. Dates are for if you're looking for something, if you're not looking for something and you have to just have sex partners. What? What kind of what kind of Hollywood shit you living in, man? I'm not, I ain't got that much time to be splitting the two. Even though I do have it, you know what I'm saying? I usually get mine on my first date, so I don't know about y'all. I only go on a date once a month. Dates are for girlfriends slash wives. We ain't two-faced. Let her be a player. Some of my boy Chan to build a man. I'm about to go to bed, man. I'm tired. It's like 12 30, bitch. I'm tired as hell. It's my eyes blue. I just want to come on and talk fun. Only day you're going to pay for 100% for the day. Fuck.
Fellas, I'm going to give you guys some real advice. So when you're dating threes and foes, threes and foes go half, nigga. <laughs> She's only right if you're dating a good-looking chick. But I'm telling you, man. Oh, Chad, I add you as a mom. I'm going to add you, man. Oh, I went straight to sleep on the goddamn live. I went straight to sleep on that pussy. I thought she said pay 100 Y'all tripping. Dates help that pussy marinate. Um, shit, man. I mean, fellas, date girls on your level. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me tell you guys something. You young niggas, all the girls I talk to in their 30s, I barely talk to any girls in their 20s. I think I talk to like one female in her 20s and she cool. You know what I'm saying? She's a little sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? Real nice. You know what I'm saying? But, um, y'all niggas, y'all young niggas got it bad. I was out one night and I hollered at some young bitches. If you ain't the man, they not giving you their phone number. Man, I'm talking to a girl. She had a sidekick with her. Yeah, my game's strong when I'm out now. I walked to the girl. I said, um, you the third wheel. I said, see, if you would have hit me up, you have to be in this position. This, uh, Position is predicament. Now you out with a girl, you can't be stuttering. Now when I was out in the mold, I had a few drinks. I won't stutter like this. I'm trying to remember what I said. She was a Caribbean. She wouldn't give me her phone number. Buy her a drink. This time I had to play this. I would have had to been with her the entire night because as soon as I left, I went to the there in the bar. I look over. She waved at me, so she wanted me to come back. So I so I, I doubled back. And I said, um, that's it. I said, I think I brought a third wheel up shit again. She said, I'm not a third wheel, I'm a third wheel. And uh, we speaking, I'm rapping, I'm rapping. If I was not already at the bar with a chick, I probably could have bagged that. You know what I'm saying? If I was out by myself and I had the time to put into that. But you, all I'm getting at is, you young niggas got, y'all, y'all, these you young bitches, 25, 26, these girls are, they're, they think they're pins. Y'all, these motherfuckers be average, bro. Uh, Cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm really hard on the scales, man. When it comes to the judging scales, I'm really hard on them shits, man. I'm not as nice as y'all think, man. The average chick is a five, a three, a four. The average chick, most women, most women out here are twos, nigga, twos and threes. It's rare girls that you, you can't be a seven with a gut. That's just how it goes. You can't be a seven without a gut. You can see seven, eight, nine, and ten. You need ass, titties, and a flat stomach and a cute face. If you got a gut and you're out of shape, you're in the sixes. This is how it goes. You can't get, you're never going to see seven. Can't get no girl a seven and you fat. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is girls nowadays be fives or sixes, but they, they'll think they're bigger than that. And they want you to work. Fellas, I, these new girls going to make y'all work, y'all. I don't know how y'all gonna do this shit. I don't know how y'all gonna do that. Good luck, niggas. Good luck. I ain't nothing wrong with some gut, though. Start wearing button downs. Yeah, women like the button downs on men. Hoes coming out of their pants with filth of Henny. Fellas, I'm telling y'all, I got your hands. These girls is not biting on nothing. I talked to another girl, man. Well, I, they not give you their phone number. Like them old women in their 30s and shit, they give you their number. Now, following up, that's the hard part. I It goes by money, IQ, and how you dress. Keep your, and, and keep your home. We judge on all that. Bro, y'all judge on every goddamn thing. A nigga, keys, his car, all that shit. Everything. Or started your career at a startup. Start wearing, oh yeah, I already read that. Well, shit, fellas, I've been out here long enough with y'all motherfuckers. I'm just ran right now. I'm in line for the past 30 minutes. I ain't got, I ain't got no bitches. <laughs> I'm, I'm out here willy-nilly. It's my 11 year. I work in a startup, CNN, Coca-Cola, Chick-fil-A, Incorporated now. Right in New they cloud chasing, and they going for a nigga with the most pep, at least down here in my life, in my, in Miami. That's every girl, man. Every girl, they want you to work so goddamn hard for that. You better beat your meat, bro. I ain't about to do it. I ain't, this, this is what messed me up. 
I'm not working. I'm not putting the work in. I'm not doing all that dating and calling shit. That's what's been missing me in the past three years. Past three years, I can't stay consistent. I can't. That's in the past three years. I mean, this that's a young nigga sport. Getting getting a lot of pussy young nigga sport. Shit. That's a young nigga sport. All right, man. I'm gonna mod you. I'm gonna go live from YouTube soon, man. I'm gonna hold y'all down, man. Shout out to God's Betty Support Channel coming through the live. We're gonna be doing a show together soon, man. So I should push y'all some game. So I should put us on some game and we're gonna talk. Guys, I ain't doing no five hour show. I'm not doing a five hour show, but we can come up here, we can rock. You see where we at right now? Hour 30. I might let you do two hours. How you hook up your waves. That's all you need right there, baby. That's all you need right there. Where my brush at? I need a, I can't find my brush. But I got, you need a good brush. Oh, you need a good do-rag. Not this shit, a silky. I need to throw this away. This is my shower do-rag. I just put this on, I go in the shower. Do, I don't do my washing style with these. Do washing, oh, she said a minimum three hours. We got to have some guests up here. Shit. No, no, no Murrays. 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 All you need is a brush. Brush your hair. Brush your hair every day for at least an hour. Moisturize some coconut oil. You know what I'm saying? Organic coconut, grapeseed oil. Do rag. Get the hair growth oil. Brush. This is how I do mine. Brush, brush, brush. Leave in conditioner, brush, 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 oil, brush, brush, brush. Something you can do a butter if you want, that's too much. Do rag, put that do rag on tight to maximum tightness before your brain start bleeding. Leave it on there tight, tighten that do rag up, and in the morning, comb it out. Don't know, leave your wave pattern in all day. But if you just in the beginning stages, you can just start that brushing. Once you get these, like right now, I can't comb my shit out because my shit laid down. So at night before I go to bed, get a comb, comb my shit, comb it out for like a good 15 minutes, all your angles, comb it out, comb it out, comb it out, comb it out, comb it out. I'm only gonna hit it with this tonight. I'm only gonna hit it with this. And I gotta leave, I gotta spray. I spray on it, I'm gonna brush with my hard brush, extra hard brush. I'm gonna go on my medium brush after that. And I got my soft brush, do-rag. Do-rag tight. I'm talking about that bitch need to be tight, nigga. If you want them waves to lay down, tight, nigga. Put that do-rag on tight to where you're having nightmares and your eyes turning red, nigga. Your shit about to bleed. Once you feel like you're getting headaches, loosen it up. Loosen it up, and now you got your waves. You want your waves to lay down. See, my shit laid down right now. I got a bunch of hair. My shit laid down right now, though. But, yeah, man. That's my do-rag pattern, man. Um, who said dog shampoo? <laughs> I'm going to just cut my shit clean all over waves or not. Don't put it, I don't put it on too tight, nigga. No, y'all. If you want your waves to lay down, that do-rag needs to be tight, nigga. Put that bitch on tight to maximum tightness of your comfortability. You know you put it on too tight, you're about to die. But put that shit on there. No, nah, my shit be out there. I'll do a tutorial. I guess I wanna, I'll start to give y'all some wave channels. Like, this, this is my ugliest pattern. See all that shit? That shit ugly as hell. I remember one time, some years ago, my ex girlfriend one told me to like, get rid of my wave. But see how that wave right there is it's like arcing? This pattern ugly. This pattern ugly as hell. I hate this pattern right now. I gotta put a lot more brushing in because I want these shits to be even across. Nigga, nigga, want you to not think again talking about tight. Bitch, you want the waves to lay down, man. She said landing strip. It ain't ugly. What the fuck? What the fuck are they talking about landing strip? Melvin Brown. That's not my boy Melvin. I told I told somebody that earlier, man. You talking about right here? I told that nigga that. Man, I'm about to let that nigga know, but you pull me my shit back. My shit. This shit slanted, man. I remember when he fucked up. I seen on his face. So I said, you know, fucked up. He was like, you know what a nigga doing this shit. <laughs> when niggas hit that move right there, you know it's over. <laughs> you know that shit fucked up. That'd be a funny meme. That shit. 
Bro, you he fucked you up, man. But you can't notice this shit from a distance. From a distance, you can't notice it. Like from a distance, you can't notice it. He's with that step back. It's higher on the right side. Man, I'm gonna let him know. Cause my barber, my he, when he first when I first booked him, man, I was getting all the pussy that week. And now look. Yeah, man. But yeah, man, we we about to pill out, man. We gone I'm about to play hit out with the with the new single, Booty Down. Y'all hold, hold, hold it down, man. It's your boy. Shawty ain't excited as long as we ride it. That's not it either. Ooh, Shawty hit me with the booty down, and I wonder if it's truly mine. If you really want these pounds, I'll let you decide. It ain't tricking if you got it, so you know I'm buying. Girl, I'm gonna turn it back if we open legs. Before I hit it from the back, I'm gonna eat some hair. And I'm about to drop the stack, got me spinning bread. When I'm going all out, dripping off the ledge. You got me in the way. I ain't one of the niggas that you get just a little. And I be keeping it simple, I always keep it simple. And don't be getting big headed, you're only just a woman. And you cannot be special if anyone can beat you. I pay, got laid all night, she stay lit. My face, I'm going out like Kylie. I won't get paid, fuck what you say. This goes my way. You and I be say Let's go. I ain't on an Impala, but I remember when I used to have an all white escort. I used to pick up the stock. I think she was in the score. She tried to get me for what? Yeah, shawty tried to extort, but she ain't getting the money because I took her to store. I took her straight down to the trap and fucked her right on the porch. Yeah, PA getting real hot. Somebody pass me the torch. My homeboy whipping that pot. Somebody hand him a fork. Let's go. I had a lighter new pork. And please don't be no broke ass nigga and ask me for a short. Don't catch me shooting no hoops. Young PA do not play sports. Yo, baby, mama's a freak. She's trying to rip.
rip off my shorts. Let's go. Gripping on the weed, make your girl work her knees. You pay for the pussy and she let me in for free. Hating on the boy and you never be me. Niggas pocket watch it when the high, I'm getting cheese. Spending all that money and you never get it back. Hating on the boy and I'm only speaking facts. Man, you need to stop it. Always ain't out of pocket. Shawty, wet it in the faucet. I see why you wanna lock it, wanna lock it. Still ain't got no car yet You probably in your homeboy car More than this main bitch I fuck this nigga bitch Goddamn your girl she got some wings Pussy eggs, turkey, turkey Bacon bitch, that's what your wife Cook me Young PA Young PA Let's go Whip whip Girl, I know you want a nigga. Girl, I know you want a nigga. I know you need me. Girl, I know you want it. Girl, I know you want it. Know you need a nigga. Girl, I know you want a nigga. Girl, I know you want a nigga. I know you need me. Girl, I know you want it. Girl, I know you want it. Know you need me. Girl, I know you want a nigga. Girl, I know you want. Me and take the lead, show you things you never seen. No, you need a nigga to hold you down and never leave. I ain't playing with you. I fulfill every need. Let's see. Girl, forget the niggas, ain't nothing like me. And don't fight the feeling like this might be. The only chance for you to be wifey. I know you need a nigga, I know you need, know you need. Girl, I know you want a nigga. Girl, I know you want a nigga, I know you need me. Girl, I know you want it. Girl, I know you want it. I know you need me. Between me and you, baby If they knew we was screwing and cooling And they were drawing the conclusions That this was all an illusion I used to do it And you're thinking that we were just doing that I can tell you any lies or cows The top eyes are look in my eyes Now we're so tired Oh, we can't have to take this long ride, baby Why well, you thinking that I won't be here up And yes, and I think you'll be never gon' fuck And waiting for me to come No need for other words You always get my trust It's time to build trust And keep this on the hush Are you thinking that I gon' handle this and you know what it is for me to handle this or this is my life Can't be my wife, that's it, it's right We gonna stay tight, baby Girl, I know you want a nigga Girl, I know you want a nigga I know you need me Girl, I know you want it Girl, I know you want it I know you need me Girl, I know you want a nigga Girl, I know you want a nigga I know you need me I got a bag, 
I gotta keep low heat. All the moves that I'm making gotta stay discreet. Like a fat bitch, you don't want nobody to see. I move along, and I ain't got nobody with me. I tell my girl I'm the word, baby, we gon' eat. Even if I have to work nights nice, with no sleep. I burn bridges and promise things that I can't keep. I'm up late, worry about what I'm gon' read. All the things that I've sold, doors I've closed. Feel like everything is out of my control. We dying for some land that we don't even know. First thing they pay, nigga, get on your own, nigga, get in. How you live, nigga, dying every day, yeah. This is where we live, yeah. We don't wanna leave. Smoking all this weed, nigga, we don't wanna breathe. We talking about that shit, nigga, you don't wanna breathe. You don't wanna be this shit, got mad, got this disease. Nigga, please, we just tryna pay fees. And get G's doing anything just to get G's. Oh shit, little homie riding with his 22. Goddamn, and he got them boys for their 22s. Aw oh, shit, and he laid them down, he was 22. We can't even talk about a way, been in they shoes. Niggas can't see, bitch, a trailer or a bar, Chevy, never succeed. Chasing back to working hard, like those niggas won't believe that they actually y'all went God, baby, but we all are ungrateful. Why my people so grateful? Why I'm so half a black for the good along? Seems like we get more and jumping out a little wrong. How we gonna act when we owe and like kids are wrong? Once we get it going, I promise I'm still living on. Seems like we're more concerned about what we're stepping on, what we're smoking on, what the hell is going on? Need to change what I'm making soon. I ain't lying soon, getting more too. Only you can save me. Bitch, you just say that he won't hey, baby, I'm not sorry, bitch. They say daddy won't well, hey baby I'm not sorry bitch Lately I've been busy got no time to be efficient I've been going ghost again missing on some petty shit You know how my girl get pull up with a whole switch Cops red handed what the fuck will I tell her Made another promise that she know I will fail her Links me and Ritter we cannot go any further If my girl catches both in the spot she will murk us Drugs that I purchase, cops run a circus Please don't get nervous, go on up and purchase Trapped by these curses, how we gon' flourish Seeking my purpose, I don't know where earth is I smoke Kush daily, smoke dope daily Fuck you, pay me, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, pay me I drive her crazy, she still my lady Walk inside a party, PA so fresh Try to see my dick print, PA so blessed Wanna buy a graph for me, you might get finesse I can't hate, I'm just tryna run up a check Homeboy fucking mad, cause I fuck this boo Sending her crazy shit like bitch we're through And if his ass come through, guarantee I shoot Man, I fucked your girl once, then I gave her the boo Girl, how you fucking with a nigga that's so lame? Niggas should be dirty as fuck Homie wanna hate on me but can't get in the club Hey, you know I'm P.A.T. when they show no love Man, I fucked your girl once and I ain't wearing the glove Why I always go raw? Because I'm from a little town and it's called St. Paul's Where we some real niggas know the beat down the walls Bitches they say daddy, well hey baby, I'm not sorry bitch Lately I've been busy, got no time to be efficient I've been going ghost scared, missing on some pretty shit You know how my girl get pull up with a whole switch Cops red handed, what the fuck will I tell her? Made another promise and she know I will fail her Links me a riddle, we cannot go any further If my girl catches both in the spot, she will murk us Drugs that I purchase, cops want to search us Please don't get nervous, go on up and perk us Trapped by these curses, how we gon' flourish Seeking my purpose, I don't know where earth is I smoke Kush daily, smoke dope daily Fuck you, pay me, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, pay me I drive her crazy, she still my lady
South Park, no name my grandma bitch, now I'm a grandpa, you see me with my baby mama, I don't know y'all, you think about the world kinda, they y'all recall, only fuck with clean bitches, they got help for sure, girlfriend number one, biggest big pun, girlfriend number two, gotta miss a tooth, girlfriend number three, biggest heavy dick, girlfriend number four, black as young girl, girlfriend number five, got a lazy eye, girlfriend number six, can't suck dick, girlfriend number seven, a convicted fan, girlfriend number eight, a little Inside that kitchen, bitch, make a sandwich She's trying to talk the last time we fucked And I suffocated Put my dick right inside her foot And she defecated Ew P.A.T. a nasty nigga Bust a nut right inside her mouth And talk a baby still And I been eating mini bitches out Off of Charlotte Lincoln I been fucking bitches raw Back to back, I need to get tested God damn, I think my dick is infested Don't be spitting out that nut, girl It best to drop this Fucking all these bitches raw And I never regret it Trying to die, just drop the opera I never will catch it When I really can't help it Get my name in your second Did I fall off? Did I fall off? Did I fall off?